Hello, everyone. Um, I wanted to share a practice that um, we are giving to staff, to adults and to students as an anchor, something that really we can, we can turn to, we can really resource and use um, when we are feeling rough, when we are feeling out of sorts, when we are feeling dysregulated. And it's called my wise self. So wise, W-I-S-E, my wise self. And this was a practice that's been augmented and modified a little bit from Linda Chapman and Alan Shore's work, but we know it's a touch point. So my wise self um, could be a stuffed animal. My wise self could be um, an ancestor. My wise self could be just an object. Um, maybe it's one of, maybe it's my pet at home. But one of the things that I'm going to have my students do tomorrow is they are going to create their wise selves. So they're going to draw their wise self. Um, it could be part animal, part human. It could be um, a relative. It could be someone famous they admire. Um, it could be a combination. But they're going to use colors and textures and think about smells. Think of their sensory systems. Like what, you know, what could your wise self give to you? Um, when you're feeling down, when you're feeling dysregulated, you can call upon this wise self. And, um, and again, it could be a superhero. It could be a monster for our younger, I mean, just a, like, just something. It could be a character out of a book that you've read, but you could combine it with other um, characters. So it could be a combination. This has been such a critical, fun practice for many of our students. I began using this in the Indianapolis Public School several years ago. And then my own girls gave me this little, um, little handmade doll um, that I could take. It's supposed to represent me. Um, and it has a backpack with a book inside, has my glasses. Usually they're on top of my head. Um, and I love to wear jeans and I always, not always, but I like to wear a dark black, dark top and my boots. And so I pack my wise self in my suitcase when I travel. And this has been, and we know that when we can even talk out loud to ourselves, for many people that feels nourishing, that feels resourceful. So there is no limit to who or what your wise self can be. But this is a great touch point and, um, and it's a resource as one of our anchors um, as we move throughout this academic year. This would be great to do with your own children at home, um, as a family, everybody picks their wise self. And, um, and then we, we spend some time with our wise selves, even on days that are going well, so that this wise self is more accessible on hard days. So I hope you enjoy.